Right, I'm going to talk a bit about my favourite winter catcher. Now, I'm quite fortunate in that I don't really feel the cold so much. So winter fishing, I've always really, really enjoyed. I don't really care how cold it is. As long as the lake's not frozen, I'm more than happy to get the rods out. A um, good few years ago now, I was still on uh, Lon Lakelands trying to catch single scale. Um, and I decided to have a bit, you know, carry my autumn fishing it through into winter. So I sort of changed bait over, went from, I actually changed from DT bait and went over to mainline. Started baiting the lake and just as I, just I started to get something going, just before Christmas, I had a couple of bites, I think it was... I remember my last bite came on December the 16th for £21 common and I thought to myself if I can just keep the bait trickling in this is going to carry on going. Unfortunately it was one of the really really harsh winters and, and literally two days later the lake shut up shop, completely froze over and stayed that way for about two months if I remember rightly. I kept walking down, it was on the way to work so I could go down have a look and if, the, if it had thawed out I'd sort of be the first to know. I went down there very early in February, I think it was the 3rd or 4th. Um, and the, the back bay, which is an area that I decided to target because single scale was, was you know, quite often got caught from around the back. Um, there was a bit of, bit of free water and it was the area that I'd caught from just before Christmas. So I put a bit of bait in, not too much, probably a hundred boilies, uh, just onto the, the, exactly the same area that I caught from. Went to work, um, following morning exactly the same, went back down again, about another hundred boilies. I was planning to go back that night to fish. So nicked off work a little bit early, as you know, winter time is a lot of darkness. I wanted to try and get my lights out, my rods out when there was still a bit of light. Sure enough, got down the lake for probably three o'clock, three rods into position really quickly because the rods were already clipped up. I knew exactly where I wanted to be. And as it got dark, it got so cold that the, the, the swims were flooded and they actually started to freeze over. And I thought, oh, brilliant, you know, I've finally got the rods out, looks like I'm going to get frozen in. Um, now I'm, I'm you know, quite a confident angler. As long as my rods are in the water, I genuinely feel you've, you know, you've always got a chance. But this night, I just, I just sat there watching it freeze up and just thought I must be mad. It just, it didn't feel right. I had to pack up first thing in the morning. It was only an overnighter, and I got a text from Alan at work, and he, you know, he sort of, you know, perked me up a little bit. He said the same as what, what my ethos has always been. He said, you know, Spanner, your rods are in the water. It could happen. So I went to sleep, not massively confident, but. I can remember the time, it was really weird. The last part of the day was exactly three o'clock in the morning. I remember looking at my watch thinking, right, here we go. And at exactly three o'clock, I've had a couple of beeps on my middle rod, same rod again. So I'm just sort of putting my boots on to have a little look, and I've heard the bobbin pull up, I've heard it pull out the clip, and just slowly start to trundle off. So I thought, happy days, it, you know, it looks like it's going to be a carp. There's, there was a lot of tension there, but fishing quite tight clutches, they certainly weren't going to pull off that sort of line picked up to a sort of almost immovable object and it was just slowly taking line I mean back winding back winding and I just felt it you know it just felt like a good fish straight away obviously hoping it was single scale would be a nice catch out in February but playing it in took it didn't it was a pretty non-descriptive fight really it took a bit of line to start with felt solid but once I turned it just came in like a dog on a lead just sort of wallowing and as it went into the net I could see it was a common um, and I'll be honest, I thought it was swirly. And because it was a fish I'd had back in the summer, I was a little bit gutted. Even though it was winter, I don't really like repeat captures. I'd rather, you know, someone else that hadn't caught it would get an opportunity. So I sort of got myself sorted, um, calmed myself down a bit, had a winter fish, I was buzzing. When I looked down in the net, realised that it wasn't swirly, it was a fish called the Long Common. Like, everything changed. One, one off, off of the wish list for sure. Didn't know how big it was going to go. I hadn't been caught for about sort of four or five months. So I weighed it all myself uh, there and then, got it done, and it was £34. Um, so I put it in a sack just you know just for a couple of hours because I knew Elliot was local. Um, sure enough, he came down first thing, and I still remember sort of holding it up for the cameras. There'd been a little bit of sleet in between me landing it um, and getting the pictures done. There was a little bit of a white backdrop. The fish was black as you like, you, you know, you had its winter coat on, and my fingers were so numb. I remember putting it back, almost in tears, having to sit on my hands before I could pack away. But just looking down at this wood carving of a common, absolutely blown away. The lake then froze up that night for another three weeks and that was more or less the end of my winter campaign.